Hey guys, so I just got back from the store and I bought a new lip product so I wanted to give you my thoughts on that particular product plus I wanted to do like an overview of my current obsession with matte lip stains and, and you know there are products that I'm going to talk about right now that fall into a wider spectrum of category but for lack of a better term I'm gonna say matte lip stains I just was doing some research this morning about um, cream lip stain matte finish type products and I thought wouldn't it be wonderful if I could find something less expensive than the Lime Crime one that I love which if you saw yesterday's video I put this on in the video. This is a Lime Crime Velveteen in Utopia. It's a gorgeous orchid color. Lime Crime has pretty much nailed the formula on this. I mean, it is perfection. It goes on evenly. It doesn't dry out my lips. It's easy to apply. The color is vibrant and rich and beautiful. And I would love to just get <laughs> all of these. But they're $18 a piece, so that's kind of expensive and, you know, more than what I really should be spending on any one given product. So I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if I could find something half that price that worked just as well, that I love just as much. So I started doing some research on the computer and I came across a product that I had never tried before. And what it was, was the Makeup Academy. Uh, let's see, does it have the name of this? Oh, please don't do this to me. I'm going to have to put an annotation or something. Yeah, I'll, pu I'll put an annotation of the actual name of this. Well, CVS has a whole giant display now of Makeup Academy lip products and brushes. They, they've had this for a while now. And I was so excited about Makeup Academy coming to the United States and I just assumed that we were going to be getting all their products but then when I found out that they weren't giving us the eyeshadow palettes I was pissed <laughs> to be to put it quite bluntly I was pissed because I was really psyched about them coming here and their eyeshadow palettes is what you always hear about you never hear anybody talk about their lip products so as sort of a punishment <laughs> for them not giving us the eye products I just made up my mind at that point I wasn't even gonna try any of the lip products because I was mad so when I was doing that research this morning and I found out that um, Makeup Academy made a cream lip stain type product and it was nine dollars uh, which is exactly half the price of the lime crime i was like well i think i'm gonna have to try that so i just got back from cvs and man that display is kind of overwhelming because they had lip balms lip stains lip glosses lipsticks i mean everything you can imagine but what was great for me was these things are all 25 percent off right now at CVS everything the whole stand and I thought uh-huh they're not selling these are they gonna be discontinuing this brand because it didn't work out I don't know maybe not it could just be that it's all on sale or they might have done that to get people to try it so I selected the color plum and I thought this was a beautiful you know berry colored plum product and I opened it up in the parking lot because I have no self-control <laughs> and when I pulled the wand out of the container I saw right away that it has one of those horrible nylon bristled wands that splay uh, it's not doing it too bad right now but there's a few bristles on there that splay out and just stay sticking out it makes it really hard to apply this has um, very strong mint smell to it not not a bad smell but just for those of you that want to know about smells smells really strongly of mint but I don't taste it I have this on right now um, but yeah Mac does these once in a while these type of applicators and I hate them they're a very hard plastic 
and you can't really do much with them. So I thought, well, when I get home, maybe what I'll do is I'll take a lip brush and dunk my lip, lip brush in here instead. No, I can't do that because it doesn't fit. Um, when you try to put the lip brush in there, it just stops after you have it in there for a small amount. So the only option that I have, because I can't work with these things, what I ended up doing was I, I took some of the product and sort of just smeared it on my lip and then blended it out with my finger. I just took my picky, pinky finger and just sort of blended it out before it had a chance to dry and that worked out okay, but you can't really get that nice precise application. So my only option would be to take some of this and transfer it to maybe the back of my hand or a palette or something and then stick a lip brush in that. I mean, that's just not practical. The only other thing I thought of is take a knife and try to wedge that insert out of there and then I should be able to get my lip brush in there. But I don't know if the, if I do that, is the product gonna go all over here and make a big mess and leak out and I don't know. But yeah, those, those hard plastic applicators, you can't do anything with those. You can't get any kind of a, a neat um, application with that. But the product itself, I think, is, is very pretty and it goes on nice and even and it didn't dry so fast that I wasn't able to work with it. Um, and I let the first layer dry and I put on more and it didn't cake up or anything. So it's a nice product, but horrible package design and applicator. I mean, just to look at this, it's, it's pretty and everything, but that, that damn plastic applicator you just can't work with that so I I think I'll you know try to take that insert out with a knife and then hope that this doesn't go all over the place and leak out but the product itself is is nice now so that that wasn't my you know half the price of a lime crime velveteen solution because I want it to work in every capacity so I just figured I would talk a little bit about some of the other products that I've bought recently and compare them to those two. I bought those MAC lip mixes that I showed you and talked about in a video. I got the red, the magenta, and the white. In case you didn't see that video, this is a pro product and you just need like a drop of this and then you can mix them with each other and create your own customized color. Well, I realized right away that just having red, magenta, and white wasn't really going to work. That I was going to need black if I wanted to make a color darker and I was going to need blue to make all the colors that I wanted to be able to make by mixing the various shades together. I decided not to get the yellow because the colors that I would be making, that I would be using that with, aren't really colors that I'm that crazy about, so I decided to pass on the yellow, but I do have the black and the blue on their way. And uh, then I'll really be able to throw myself into making a lot of customized colors and so forth. The finish on this is a satin matte, and it's very, very pretty. Um, when you're mixing up this color, it dries really fast, so you have to work quickly and then get it on with a lip brush. But I love this product and I can't believe I've never heard anyone ever talk about this because this is fantastic. You could conceivably have a few of these and never need to buy another lip product again. But the finish is satin matte, so it's a little different than what is popular right now, which is a straight up matte. But I really like this too. I think this is a great product and because you only need one drop, these are going to last for, you know, a long time. So that is another favorite for sure. My other favorite that I really, really like is the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. The only matte ones that they have now, because they discontinued a lot of the shades, all they have left now that's in the permanent line is the, the red and the strawberry pink one. But they're going to be releasing 
uh, nine new shades soon. I don't know exactly when, but I can't wait to see what other shades they're going to come out with. The only thing is these are $13, so they're also kind of expensive, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come up with because this is almost as good as the Lime Crime Velveteens, but not quite. It, the, the formula on the Lime Crimes is perfection. These are almost as good. Another product that I bought recently that's very similar to that is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. These are expensive. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember how much these were in comparison, but um, the formula on these is not quite as good as those others, as the um, Sephora. It doesn't go on perfectly evenly. You kind of have to work with it a little bit. So I feel like these are a bit overpriced. You do get a lot, and I, I know they just recently redesigned the packaging and everything on these so that you do get more product than you used to, but it's still not the perfect formula. I like the two that I have, which is uh, Vampira and Lolita, but I don't think I would buy any more of these. I feel like they're a bit overpriced for the quality of the formula. And the color range on those is kind of off to me. Um, I didn't feel like there were a lot of shades that I was drawn to. This is L'Oreal's new version of all this. The problem with this product, because it is a good product, but look at how little you get. And this was around $10, I think. So there's hardly anything in here. But unfortunately, what they give you is this giant lip balm which this much of it is lip balm so I really wish that they would give you more of the actual product that you're buying it for and less of the lip balm but this is a nice gloss but I don't feel like this is a good value at all because ten dollars for that tiny tiny little little amount of gloss but the actual product is nice but I feel like it's overpriced because I don't want you know, sell the products separately. Make these two separate products. Sell the lip balm separately so you can just buy one of the balm. I don't even use the balm because I, it's not matte if you do. So I just use this by itself. And um, so because of that, I don't think I would get any more of these even though I do like the product. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This is gorgeous, gorgeous on. it. It's a satin finish and it's just stunning and it comes in a lot of nice colors and the price is about what you would normally expect to pay for L'Oreal maybe even a little bit less but it's limited edition and um, it doesn't set so it's not it's not a matte finish which is my favorite um, and it, it doesn't set completely so you still are gonna have that um, you know, transfer issue if you have a drink or something. And the Rimmel, the new Rimmel one, which is called Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. This, um, this doesn't go on completely evenly. Doesn't, um, doesn't set completely. It transfers a little bit and this stuff that they put on the other side of it is uh, a little bit like super glue. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. I wish that they would stop making these two-step systems. You know, just give me the product that I want and don't try to give me a balm or a sealant or anything like that to put over it, I don't feel like, um, I just don't want that in the product. But that's why I get a little bit of transfer and why it doesn't set completely because I don't like using that other thing that comes with it you're supposed to use. And whenever you use those other products that come with these things, um, you're not gonna get that gorgeous, nice matte finish that a lot of people are after right now. This is a Rimmel Show Off vel Lip Velvet. I didn't really like this. Um, I thought it was kind of hard to work with. 
I wasn't wild about the way it set or the finish or the color selection. I don't know. I, I just really did not care for this very much at all. I don't think I would get any more of those, no. And then the next Soft Matte Lip Creams. These are a satin finish like that uh, L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss that I showed you that was limited edition. This is a nice product, but it's very, um, it's soft, so it's it's not going to be an intense looking product. Comes in a nice range of colors. Uh, the only problem with this is it's, it ne you need to reapply this several times throughout the day. So I, I don't really like to reapply my lip product. I want it to stay on until I eat a meal, basically. So these are nice, but you have to keep putting more on because it fades and it just kind of evaporates into thin air. But I do like it and it does smell nice. And I do like the color selection and the price point is very reasonable. So I just figured I would give you guys an old broad overview of all these new products, these new lip products that I've been buying. My favorites are the Lime Crime Velveteens, the Sephora Cream Lip Stains, and the MAC Lip Mixes. When I get those other two shades of lip, MAC Lip Mixes, I'm going to try to do a video uh, showing you how to make different colors with them. And, you know, I'll show you what they look like on the lips and um, show you how quickly they set up and you know that you need to work fast with them but I'll do a video probably strictly about these when I get the other two shades I've got the black and the blue coming so I'll give you more information about those but those three are my favorites now all three of those are considered high-end products so which one would be my favorite of all the drugstore versions um, well I do I do like that L'Oreal one but I don't feel like that's good value at all I think you might as well buy high-end if you're gonna spend that much for that much product so for the best value with a good formula I would say it, it depends on what you're after you know if you want matte I would try and find some of these uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Glosses, but they smell really strong of flowers, and I hate that. Um, I'm so allergic to flowers that I almost feel a little sick after I use this because I think that it's got real floral extracts in it, and I think that's why it makes me feel that way. So if you're not allergic to flowers, you might love this, but it's limited edition. So if you couldn't get that... Uh, which one would be the best value? Well, I don't know, because the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, those are good, but you have to keep applying it several times a day. So you're going to go through a lot of that, so that's not going to be that good of a value. So I guess the answer to that is I haven't really found one yet then that I feel like is a good value, that I really like the formula, the color selection, and something that's matte, that stays all day. So I guess I need to keep looking to get one that is um, at the price point that I want. So if you know of one, if, or, you know, if, if you know of one that's reasonably priced that you can buy at the drugstore that's matte, that goes on nice, and has a good color selection for a good price, let me know, please. <laughs> because I'm trying to find something like that so that I can, you know, uh, show it to you guys and um, give you some better options as far as the biggest best bang for the buck <laughs> well that's it for today you guys and i'll see you next time bye